Jan's Hajj, The Journey of a Lifetime, by Fauzia Gilani, illustrated by Sophie Borrows. Once upon a time, there lived a kind and happy farmer named Jan, who loved Allah more than anything else. His dream was to visit the Kaaba, Allah's house, and do Hajj. The problem was, he was poor, and he would need to fill his money bag first. After some years of hard work, Jan's money bag was full. He could go to Mecca. Soon his dream would come true. As he took the first steps of his journey, he looked up at the sky and said, I love you, Allah. After days of walking, Jan had crossed the mountains. There he saw a group of children sitting on the ground. They looked sad. Children, why do you look so sad? And why aren't you at school? Jan said. Our school burned down and we don't have any money to fix it, they replied. Jan smiled. I have some money. Inshallah, I will fix your school. Jan set to work on the school. He repaired the leaky roof. He replaced the broken windows and he rebuilt the crumbling walls. Soon the school was ready. The children were overjoyed and thanked Jan for his kindness. But when Jan looked in his bag, all his Hajj money was gone. Jan went back to his farm and prayed to Allah. I will work hard, save my money and inshallah I will do Hajj. Back on the farm, many years went by. Jan worked hard caring for his crops and saved as much as he could. Until one day, his money bag was full. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, said Jan. Now I can go and do Hajj. Jan picked up his money bag and got on his horse. Jan had not ridden far when he saw a small boy beside the road. The boy was holding his leg and looked in pain. Jan ran over. Suddenly, a big man appeared. He stood over the boy. Get up, you must work, he yelled. But the boy is hurt, said Jan. The boy must work. He owes me lots of money, the man replied. Jan took his hajj money and gave it to the man. After a grunt and a glance at the coins, the man walked away. The boy was free to leave. The boy looked at Jan and said, I have no way to go and I cannot walk. Don't worry, smiled Jan. I will care for you until you are strong. So Habib, as the boy was called, went to live with Jan on his farm. Habib grew strong as he got older. Soon he was able to help Jan catch the chickens and look after the animals. Yet, despite how much Habib loved Jan, sometimes he would wonder about his family. One afternoon, Habib said to Jan, I miss my parents. I want to find my mum and dad. Jan nodded and smiled. Yes, of course, he said. You must go and find them so you can be happy. Not long after, Habib set out to find his family. Without Habib, life on the farm was hard for Jan. But his dream to do Hajj gave him strength. One day, when Jan looked at his money bag, it was full. Alhamdulillah, said Jan, now I can go and do Hajj. Jan was old now, so he sat in a cart which his horse pulled along the path. On his way, Jan stopped at a village. A group of people were talking together. They wanted to build a mosque, but they did not have enough money. They were sad. Don't be sad, said Jan. I will help you build a mosque. I have some money. Jan carried bricks and stones. He hammered nails and cut tiles. Jan worked hard with the villagers. After two months, 
the mosque was complete. When Yan looked in his money bag, all his Hajj money was gone. So Yan went back to his farm. On the journey home, he looked up at the sky. Dear Allah, he said, I will work hard and save my money. One day I will do Hajj. But Yan was old now and he could not work fast. The next time Yan looked in his money bag, it was not full. I cannot do Hajj, he said sadly. Later that day, Yan saw a man riding a horse towards his farm. Who is that? said Yan, peering through his glasses. The man came near. It's me, Habib, he said. I have come to take you to do Hajj. Yan was overjoyed. Jazakallah, Habib. We must leave before I get any older, he said. Habib helped Yan onto the cart. They drove along the dusty path, talking together and praising Allah. Soon they passed a school. The children ran outside, waving and smiling. They shouted, we love you. They threw rose petals on him and gave him white sheets to wear on Hajj. Many days later, they passed through a village. When the people saw Yan, they ran out from their homes and the mosque to greet him. They gave Yan gifts of food and water and said, We love you, Yan. Some weeks passed and Habib stopped the cart outside a small house. A man and woman stood outside. Thank you for taking care of our son, said the man and woman. They gave Yan a bag filled with money. We love you, they said. And soon after, Yan arrived in Mecca. Habib took Yan to the Kaaba. Yan smiled and tears came to his eyes. He looked up at the sky and said, I love you, Allah. Yan's dream had finally come true.